Hey, Victoria here. Yes, it's green. Look at it's green outside. Yay! There's Jenny Egg. Say hi, Jenny Egg. She's just gonna look at me. I am here at my house. Um, I thought I would give you a little tour of my home studio. I thought that might be fun. You're used to seeing uh, my walls in my home studio or my work studio, and now I have. I mean, I've had this space, um, but it's not as grand as uh, my spaces that I have in the city. This is my tiny little getaway space. So when I come out here, I tend to start a lot of new projects. And this is what else I do. Did you see that? I hope so. My toes are in the grass. It's the best thing in the whole world. So here we are. That room is my studio right there. And that's my view that I get to have when I'm in my studio and I'm outside playing in my fabric, sometimes on this deck. I bring my sewing machine out here sometimes and I sit and I sew and bring my cozy chair, I put my feet up, have my coffee and bagel in the morning. Thumbs up, big thumbs up. So here's my studio. Warn you, it's a mess and that's totally okay. I have been working on several little projects, playing around with some things, so let me show you what I have here. So I often hear that people love seeing when a studio is a mess. I'm gonna put my light on here so you guys can see a bit more. It just makes it kind of orangier in here, doesn't it? Um, but here's my Juki, of course. And here's my new quilt that I'm working on. So this is using my Stretch Hex uh, template and tumbler. And the floral fabric that I fussy cut is fabric I have been hoarding for the longest time. It is Paula Prass's fabric that I just love and I've been waiting for inspiration to tell me what I was going to do. So today was the day, except my problem is I don't have a lot of stash here. Um, it's kind of like in the city I have, uh, you know, I'm in the city most of the time. So I have my clothes that I wear all the time and then my closet gets full. So I have to get rid of the things that I'm not wearing and to bring those things out to my house. Then I get out to my house and then I have all this clothes that I don't want to wear in the city and I don't want to wear it here. <sighs> kind of the way my stash goes. So fabrics that I've had in my stash for years uh, c come out here, So which kind of leaves me with a very odd uh, collection of fabrics. And that's sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's not. But ultimately, I have all of this. Scraps. Look at all that scraps. So that's where I do most of my playing and having fun. If you remember the Strings of Florid Blooms quilt that I made not too long ago, I did a floral version of it. All of those fabrics came out of my scrap bins. So scraps to me are anything that's small, slightly smaller than a fat quarter because it won't fold up nice and fit back on my shelves. Uh, you've seen my shelves, how I store everything. I fold it in funky piles like this. And even though those are not on the shelves where they belong, I am trying to get this place cleaned up. So that's kind of what I have here. I have a sink in here because this used to be my painting studio and it's become my sewing studio. I have all my little gadgety, cute little things that I've collected over the years on my shelves with some fabric. I have an old dining table that I designed that is now my sewing table, which is kind of really great. I have my husband's old desk, which is my cutting table, and I have this retro table that also used to be in our house before we, uh, before we renovated. So, you know, I use what I have. It's nothing fancy, and but it gets a job done. I get to relax here. I get to have my view out my windows, and that's what it's all about. So thank you for your comments. I appreciate hearing them. And I love hearing, you know, if you have questions, I love to hear ideas of what you want to see. I can't always post the things that I'm working on because it might be for something 
that's going to come out later that I that's just kind of the way the ball bounces but I have some small projects here that I'm working on that I'm going to take with this summer when we leave for Texas next Saturday in one week really excited about that and so um, you know I try to show what I can I have a project that I'm working on for myself it's not exactly a quilt but I am quilting it and that uh, I should have that post up in a couple days I want to do a little bit more work on it and that's kind of cool. I'm excited about that. So hopefully I'll see some of you in Texas. Check my schedule. I'll post where I'm going to be. And uh, I'm going to go put my toes back in the grass. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.